but chances are, if you don't have a coil and plug ignition system, you've probably got a distributor. And as the name implies, the distributor distributes the spark needed for each cylinder. So it consists of two main parts, and it's called the cap and the rotor. Now what I have here is the cap, and you can see that there's four holes for the spark plug wires to plug into, and on the other side of these holes are contact points. So I'm going to demonstrate this with a Lego brick. The Lego brick will simulate the arm, and the arm will always be energized with electricity. And as it goes around, it passes by the contact points, which in turn allows the spark or the electricity to flow through and meet the spark plug on the other end. So this is the Lego model that I made. And first, let's start with the energizing wire. Now, it's just a wire that rides along the ring. That way, the ring is always energized, even though it spins around. Now, the ring is just a washer. And since we're dealing with high voltage, the connections don't have to be perfect. So it kind of rides around it, providing the electricity. And you can notice that there is a finger uh, on the end of the ring. Now that finger eventually lines up with the four contact points that surround it. Now those contact points have protruding wires on the other side, which directly connect them to their own individual spark plug. But what's important to note is that there needs to be a specific firing order. Now in this case, the firing order is 1, 4, 3, 2, which is also the case for Honda's B-Series engine. So a four-cylinder engine is designed to have the power stroke occur every 90 degrees of crankshaft rotation. So per one revolution of the crankshaft, four of the spark plugs will need to be fired. And here we just have the common ground, which is just a piece of wire that bridges all four spark plugs together. And that way we don't have to attach an individual wire for every single one of them.
Well, guys, that is it for this video. But seriously, though, if you guys want to see more and if you guys really like the content, please do consider subscribing. It does help a lot and it just keeps me motivated. Uh, if you found this one interesting, um, please share your ideas in the comment section below. And rest assured, I've got plenty more of ideas that I look forward to showing you guys. Thank you. Until next time. Peace.